What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we have a really, really, really good Soul Awakening contract and Awakening Gala up for grabs, mainly because, well, you do get some Treasure Train coupons, which is cool, but mainly you get this B Resonant Stone, and the B Resonant Stone is really good because there's a lot of people getting, at the very least, A- minus rolls on their copies, even if they still have a B or B plus copy coming their way. Uh, but the advantage of that is if it gets like an A plus roll on the attack, it can actually be a good tenant copy to sell as well. Uh, we're probably gonna just keep going for these. We're gonna get sublimation and uh, do I care about half his core? I guess I do. I guess I actually do care about half of his core because I wanna get his core at some point. Probably gonna get half of it and we'll get another half in another event because we didn't get any of them last week. We just went for the chest that we got. We're not gonna go for anything here. So getting to 300 points, that is a challenge right here. Now, luckily you can, you know, retire heroes, recoup stuff. Uh, but if you wanna get to 300 points, math wise, 300, you average 5.5 per awakening. So if you just straight up divide this by 5.5, that's about 55 awakenings that you need to do to get to this point. Now, I don't even know if we're going to make it there because I think in total between contract, uh, regular, and prism, we're only at like, we're close to like 3,000. 3,000 should be enough with retirements, but then we also have to figure out who we're going for. Now, going for the hero you want on your account isn't always necessarily the best idea. You really need to check what the prices are in the market for specific heroes. So starting with Vulcan, they are, again, they're like in the 30,000 range here. If you just work your way down, yeah, you don't want to do EOS. Yeah, oh my god, the, the the timer on this is gonna be killer. I guess we could do a couple of these heroes here. Like, you definitely don't want to do Elena. As Medell, surprisingly, still up at 20,000. That's actually not that bad. Um, Jester and Freya. Let's see, Freya's down in the 9,000 range. Jester, there's actually not many of them out there. I mean, Jester might be the one to go for right now. I don't know. I don't know how he's actually going to be in this game. Uh, I'll go for the next three here. Queens, very cheap. Island mocks are okay prices. And then there's literally not a single Arania up because I don't think anybody really cares there. We come over to here. Sword Flash is like in the 12,000, 10,000. Same with you. Um, not even a single Azrael up. But as you guys saw before, earlier this week, Azrael's were up for about like eight, 9,000. I don't know if that's going to change. Jar is about 12. And then we get to the last two big ticket item ones here. Uh, or rather, we go to Mockman. Mockman, again, pretty much in the same range as a um, Vulcan. They're in about the 30,000 price range. Aspen, again, Aspen's value. Or really, I guess I'll say since people are doing void camping easier... Vulcan and Mockman copies have come down and Aspen copies have come up. The other one that I'm interested in here is Vesa. Uh, Vesa still has dropped a bit into the 20. So in reality, if you're going to awaken any heroes during this event, I highly suggest you go for Aspen, Mockman, and Vulcan. They are going to be the top ticket earners for you if you manage to high roll, especially with that B copy. Now, I really don't know what we have for copies right now of any of those, if any at all. Vesta is usually one of the easier ones to get copies of, which is cool. Uh, we hit an Aspen copy there. Can we hit a Vulcan copy? No, we can't. So what we're going to have to do is mainly... Ooh, I got a lot of these chests here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a lot of these. We're going to do one Gster, I think, just because he could still be that kind of like dark horse type hero. Uh, and then we have what? We got a bunch of these original chests, which honestly, I'm done doing Vesta's. I think I'm going to do Aspen. Although selling Aspen, is it worth it over just going for a Vesta on our account? I don't know because I don't know what our hero we're specifically going for just yet. Mockman is going to be the play. And then we'll see where we're at because we might just start using some of our five-star hero chests. So let's just grab the rest of those out of the bag here. I don't even know if we have any Vulcans. Oh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> that should free up some space there we go let's go back into here get the aspens out okay so we might have a vulcan or two i don't know um 
I'm not going to do any of the main copies, though, because I definitely want to be able to regress anything, retire anything that we have. Oh, wait. Was there a Jeepster in our bag? Yes, there was. We do need to grab one of you. That's good. Okay, let's do the Jeepster first. Let's start on the high roll. Or maybe we use the B-Stone on Jeepster. That's intriguing. Maybe we do. You know what? Let's save that one Jeepster copy. Yeah, yeah, I think I've convinced myself. We have only one Vulcan copy right now. Let's get going. Hopefully, we get one of our first A tiers for us because we've gotten one A tier, A minus tier in the past for a viewer. Uh, we've never really hit one for ourselves. So it's most likely going to be an Aspen copy, which means it's going to be a copy that we sell. It is what it is because then I can buy multiple other heroes with it. If I want to get an Azrael copy, I want to try to get some of our support heroes with better. What a tease. My goodness. I thought we had already hit at least a B tier hero. I mean, that's still a good roll C plus because that's going to count for a lot of points. And usually what I say is, yes, if you're doing the awakening with the B plus, that's going to help you out because, well, the B plus or B or higher copy is gonna get you a lot of points if you're pushing past the 200 point mark and going for 300, which honestly, I think we are. We're gonna see where we're at though. I really wanna use that B stone right now though. I don't wanna wait on it. Maybe we should, honestly, anything that rolls C minus or better is a win for us because that's gonna be pretty much a refund here and we're just dipping into our prism starry gems here. All right, let's keep going, keep going. We're just going to awaken as many of these as possible, and then we're going to do regression, and we'll see how many points we have. But if we keep getting E tiers and stuff like this, it'll be a little rough. But knowing what the market looks like before you take the time to do this is very important because there's nothing, like, at least as far as A minus copies go, that's typically what I kind of keep track of as the market goes because I don't want a higher copy than A minus because it's just going to cost too much. I just need a bare bones giant killer because that giant, that J, that GK is like the most important thing to get on a hero that is a damage dealer. So prices have fallen. For a while there, Vulcans were still around 50,000 apiece. Mockmans were in the 40,000 range. Aspens were in the 35,000 range. Aspens have dropped slightly, but they've held their value longer and better. I think because of Star Expedition and the amount of things that this hero can do. He's just one of the most versatile heroes out there. Still nothing great. Still nothing great. Let's keep going, though. I'm hoping we can get something. And hey, maybe it's better than our main copy. And then we sell our main copy and use this one. We'll just have to see. Uh, that's, that's, that's a pipe dream. That's wishful thinking on my behalf, thinking that we might actually get something good here. Let's do about five more of these, and then we will take the time to regress. Okay, that's the C tier. That is a refund copy, which is, again... All I really care about. And of course, every 20 points you get in this event, you will be getting one of those Transcendence Tier 1 chests again, which is kind of nice to get. All right, three more. Actually, how many copies? Let's do four more. I know that dips us below 1,000, but I think we're going to have to use almost all of our Starry Gems. Come on, come on. Oh, that's twice we've hit a B roll on something, and then it's been a C-plus hero. That is such a tease. But... I mean, seeing two of them in one summoning session kind of feels lucky. So I'm hoping that's just a precursor to our luck getting even better as this goes on. Because it's like, ah, yeah, you almost got it. You almost got a B tier. How about let's do this? <laughs> Granted, I've already regressed like and retired plenty of B tier heroes last week just so I can get the packs because I'm trying not to spend much. Uh, we did have to spend 100 this week for this pack. But hey, it is what it is. Another good one here. So let's retire these out. I don't think there's any of these I care about. Nope. Let's retire. Yeah, and it, it was forever until I realized that this was a thing. I don't know if you guys realize you can actually filter it two different ways. Um, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really notice that. Let's get all these retired. Get all these out of here. All right, so we're back up to 1,500. So it's almost like we didn't do many. We definitely lost out on some. Uh, but we are up to 149, so we're almost 150 point mark. That's pretty solid. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, we need those chests, don't we? I was just trying to think, like, wait, what am I awakening on? I don't know what I'm awakening. We definitely need more of these Aspen copies. And, wait, 
Wait, wait, wait. I saw a chest. Yep, I saw this chest. Vulcan copy. Uh, do we have any more of those special chests or just five stars? Just five stars mainly. Nah. Let's let's keep going. Let's do one Vulcan copy. We'll start with that one, and then we'll go back to the Aspen copies. Maybe our luck culminates with this Vulcan. That would be amazing. Please. <laughs> Pretty please, right here. Nope. Yellow for the light faction, right? Of course. And back to the Aspen copies. This is where we've had some good luck. Maybe, just maybe, we find our first of our own. But if we're already halfway there and we have this many contract starry gems, I feel like we have a little bit of a high roll. At the end of this, we will kind of take a look and see exactly how many summons we did. Because if it's less than 55, that is a high roll as far as this goes. Even if the copies aren't any good, getting the rewards for less than what the average is, in my opinion, is a very, very good thing. What is that's the weird rainbow? That's really can you imagine seeing a red coming down and then the red follows by a green and a purple? Could you imagine that getting like a B minus copy that has like an A minus roll on it or something like an A minus attack and then it just crumbles away and you get like <laughs> you get like a, a purple oh my god, you get like a C tier in the middle there for the, uh, the HP and then you get like a B tier for the speed or something weird. I don't know, that would be a kicker, wouldn't it? It's B minus copy. That's going to be good for points for sure and for retirement. So two more copies right here. Uh, this is actually going pretty good. <sighs> We're getting so many green streaks, but not a single red one coming from the sky. Oh, and then we go back to E tier. All right. <laughs> All right, man. This is this is starting to get a little. <laughs> it's getting a little annoying here for us. Um. I'll hold on to those right now, just in case I don't need to use them. Uh, let's grab what rewards we do have here. 210. Wow. So, yeah, we're definitely going for the 300 because this is going to be very easy for us to do. I say easy, but you know what I mean. Um, we have that. Let's grab more of these out. More Aspen copies because they're they're kind of high rolling for us. We're going to go for a Mockman copy. Um, these guys are just annoying me. Let me just fuse these up real quick. <laughs> They're just really annoying me. Do we have anything else to use? No, but hey, we might not need to use too many more. Uh, no Vulcan copy, but we do have a Mockman copy, and we do have four more Aspen copies. So, what do you think? We're in the middle here. Do we try the G-Ster B tier? Because again, like I said, there's a 7% chance of getting a B-plus copy, but there's about a 1% chance that you get an A- minus or higher, and... Uh, Maybe we make our dreams come true. I mean, we need a good copy for him anyway, so I don't feel bad about burning this and only hitting a B tier anyway, so fingers crossed. Everybody pray. It's green. That's not a good sign. It's all green. It's all. It's all. It's, it's literally just green. And that's a pretty, cr oh my God. That's like, this should almost be a B minus copy. That's like bad. <laughs> It's like a really, really bad roll. My goodness. Um, yeah, we'll replace that in 3819. Yeesh. 3819. Heck, even these guys have better rolls, and they're just 10 in copies and they're lower tier. Oh, that was a big rip right there, guys. That was not good for us. Hopefully, your guys go much, much better than mine just did. We're going to continue and finish this out with our Mockman and our Aspen copies because that brings us to a grand total of 223. Yeah, we need, we need quite a few more. So let's go back over to here. Come on, we, we've seen a lot of green today, but not a single streak of red or orange at that matter. That would be crazy if we could actually get like an orange tier because then you could sell it for a lot and buy an, an entire account of A- minus copies. <laughs> that would be my dream, honestly. If we could hit a crazy, crazy good SSS copy, whew, that could fund in an entire account of essentially good copies for what we need like the Azrael we want we probably even get a jara copy that's a giant killer we could do so many things with all that 
Come on, man. Just give us something. I feel so bad. We're going to do some awakenings for viewers this week, too. So if you're someone who wants me to do their awakenings, especially if you're Android, because those are the easiest ones for me to schedule and set up. I've already got three of them lined up for today and tomorrow to get done. So if you want me to try to share my viewer summons luck, because again, we've, we've hit a giant killer copy for a viewer before. If you want us to try to channel our luck into you. We can give it a good old college try. So let's retire all these guys. Um, I'm actually going to keep this Gster copy because I think I need to build a Gster tenant technically just to have in case we ever want to build a Gster as well. And that puts us at a grand total of. Yeah, OK, we're going to have to crack some of these other chests open as well. So let's start with this one. Um, this we should be able to grab a Vulcan copy or Gster copy. Actually, you know what? We're not going to retire that Gster, but hey, we maybe we get like super, super lucky with it. I don't know if any of these newer chests No, So we're probably just going to go for Vesa. Yeah, we're going to have to do some Vesas with some regular chest. I don't know what this one actually has. Again, not great hero. So we'll grab a couple more Vestas from here as well. And wait, I saw one more light and dark chest. Vulcan, okay. So we have a wide gambit of things that we can do right here. The first one being another Gster. We have a Vulcan. We have an Aspen and we have some of you. So we have some variety to finish this out let's start with that gster though i want to see if we can hit something good on the gster i'm happy we haven't had to dip too far into our prism starry gems either uh that copy will just be saved i probably could have like saved even a little bit more than that uh let's go to the vulcan copy next because this would be probably the best one to hit right now if possible not looking good another weird rainbow summon let's move on over to the mockman i think we got right or no we didn't have any mockmans this time um one aspen and then we'll have to finish out on vesa and hopefully we have enough vessas to make this happen refund not a refund darn it uh okay so let's do those two let's make sure we lock down this gster because again i want to make sure we're at least keeping their copies so that's not too bad Gala, we're at 269. Eesh. All right, let's get to some Vesa copies. Vesas, and then we'll re, we'll re test and see where we're at. I think we actually might have a lot of Vesas in bags still from when we uh, did our summons before. I think we still have a ton of them. Yeah, we got a ton of them. So we have no lack of them. We just want to try not to dip any further into our prism gems. That's going to be our goal. So let's do one more. And once again, we'll start destroying these copies. Try to get closer and closer to that 300 point mark. Oh, no, they're all locked. <laughs> you remember, guys, I locked all of these because... Um, Oh no, <laughs> because I was just destroying all five stars in the bag, but there were like some of them I didn't want to like these because, oh man, I wanted to make sure I had enough of them to do awakenings on. Kind of weird that unless you awaken a locked hero copy. Oh my goodness. Wait, am I, am I relocking them now? Am I not paying attention? Okay, I should be fine. Whew. Okay, anyway, back to this. Bye bye. Get rid of you. Retire. Okay, that's one more. And then let's see where we're at. Unless it's a good one. And then we can retire it for a lot. I mean, we could just retire those Aspens. I don't think I want to trade them, honestly. Should be 80, right? 287. Yeah, let's just let's just do this here. Just retire them. Give us our resources. And let's do 87. Okay, so we need two to three more, depending on how these roll. And we'll get to 300. That's about what seven points i think so if we hit another that's like a d tier or higher i think we're good and i think that does it i think a c tier or c minus or whatever it is clenches it out yep 304 claim all so let's see what the grand total is here also we have these little treasure train tickets i forgot we can use sure why not it's a summoning video right guys open all of them all shards although one of them was a whole artifact Come on, let's just do quick ones. Give me something good. Give me something good. It's orange shard, so at least that's good. 
Shards are actually not that bad anymore, so long as you already have the artifact unlocked because you can get plus levels on them, which is really cool. We're getting really high tier ones. Orange, orange, red so far. Green dropping in quality. Come on, show me a full artifact right here. No. Uh, and then, of course, that means we also get one of these treasure boxes, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, we can just upgrade things, quick ascend them, get more stats. That's cool. But let's see in the finale what we have for points detail. So, I'm going to calculator this. I don't trust myself. 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6. Plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 plus 1 plus two plus one i mean we did this in 44 granted one of them was because we had a b stone so if you take 13 off of this and turn it into like a five so you lose eight you got to do at least one more we did it in about 44 45 so if you guys want to know how many awakenings you need that's about how many you need and we had some pretty good luck on there too we didn't scrap the b copy and we still end up with a total of what we're at about yeah we're pretty much right at 1500 gems and i think we started with i want to say around 3000 so not too bad this is probably easily acquirable to get to that 200 point mark for most everybody so hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time and good luck on your awakenings contact me if you want me to do them for you Oh, 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 oh,